Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today, we'll be reviewing some epic random figures. But yeah, we're going to look at the one figure I don't have any comparisons for. Uh, this is the wooden doll I got for free. This is my last freebie from my first, my uh, third or fourth freebie pile. And she is a wooden doll you paint. Kind of like the one Santa used to make on Christmas. Uh, and you know, Christmas, Santa made wooden toys like this and he painted them. And they look a lot more better than anything I can make. Because my designs are more... Not as good as others. I do Clone Trooper drawings better. I did a pretty good drawing of Time Force Red. But other than that... Things like this ain't my specialty. And she's a female wooden doll. It's got bendable knees, which is really nice to hear some articulated poses. And she stands on her own, which is pretty cool. Head is on a ball joint. <clears throat> Gotta love this figure. And she's smiling. That's what I did. I gave her a nice smile. She's got these wooden, movable hands. I wish she had fingers instead of uh, these wooden shoe fingers. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call them, wooden shoe fingers. She'd be like, hello, world. And stuff. And it's a really good toy. Knowing I scored it for free. See she's got the heart I got her with. And I even did her did her clothing and her shoes. She's got some red. A red skirt and some red shoes. Because. She's technically a. Beautiful girl wooden toy. Why not. That's what you're supposed to say. With wooden girl toys. And this is probably my favorite custom toy I've done. I didn't use actual paint with this, which would have taken twice as long to dry. I used the Sharpie method, which made this figure look totally stacked, if I do say so myself. Uh, it's not my best design, but it is pretty good. I give it a 5 out of 10. Not terrible, not good circumstances. Otherwise, a good-looking figure. She's definitely going on my shelf, for sure. Next on the list, we got some Go-Go Power Rangers. Go-Go Power Rangers. You Mighty Muffin Power Rangers. And yes, I couldn't help the Power Rangers theme song because we got Alpha 5 from the second My Morphin Power Rangers. I don't do a good voice of this Alpha, but I do of the 1980, the 1990s Alpha. Sorry, I'm about to correct myself. Aye, 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 Zordon. We need Rangers to defend the Earth, Zordon. Aye, aye, aye. We're all gonna die. And yeah, I love having Alpha 5 in any form in my collection. It looks like he's got a flying saucer head. Kind of cool. Love it. No bendable knees. Hinged ankles. No bendable elbows. Greetings, Power Rangers. Good to see you again. It's me, Alpha 5. And yeah. I don't have any other Alpha 5 comparisons either. Next, we look at our Mighty Morphin Flip and Change. Blue Ranger, and this is a 90s original figure, not the re-release. We got Billy. It's Morphin time! Hiya! Take this! Hiya! And yeah, it's just like the Retro Morph figures, but it's, uh, older. Speaking of Retro Morph, let's bring out a Retro Morph, uh, Pink Ranger. And yeah, newer one is better in paint. 
lasted -y than this one, but otherwise, it's okay for what it is. There's my original Retro Moore Pink Ranger. And just because, throw in the Red Ranger. Why not? And it's, uh, oh, sorry about the tripod. It's really loose today. There's the Retro Morph Red Ranger with this one. And of course, we got the 90s vintage. Flip and change, Black Ranger. I really need to get the Retro Morph ones with their weapons, but here we got most of the Rangers from Mighty Morphin. We got the White Ranger, Black Ranger, Pink Ranger, Blue Ranger, and the Red Ranger. So we're only missing uh, pink, not pink, but yellow and green in this set. And then we got the whole set of these Retro Morph figures. I love having these figures in my collection. Especially the original 90s figures. I was born in 1993 before these came out. At the same time these came out in. And I've never owned these in my entire life. So I'm glad to own these in my collection. They have some paint wear. They've been through a lot. Because these are not newer ones. They're the older ones. Why not? But I will definitely be keeping these because they're vintage. And they don't have their weapons either. If I get lucky to find their weapons, they will be much more worth it to, to keep for a long time. Same goes for the White Ranger. I don't have his weapons either. But now we're going to get on to the next figures we got. First on the list for this five epic figure pile, we got DC's Green Lantern, Kilowog. Let's get you trained, rookie. Come on, show me what you got. Because I'm Kilowog. Show me what you got, rookie. I do a pretty good impression of Kilowog, if I do say so myself. And speaking of Green Lantern, here's Kilowog next to Hal Jordan. I don't have this entire set of these yet, but I have two of the Green Lantern movie figures, and I'm so glad to have these. These are definitely going to be part of my DC shelf. This was a good comparison to compare with this one. This one was a good, good comparison with this one. Sorry about a correction moment. <laughs> I love these things so much because I loved the Green Lantern movie when I was growing up. I loved Green Lantern in the Justice League cartoon and Green Lantern in the uh, Justice League, the Green Lantern animated series. Hal Jordan was good. I just loved Green Lantern through and through. And I will always be a fan of Batman and Superman, but Green Lantern is a third favorite of mine. Now for the last figure I got from the Monroeville Exchange. And Kilowog was from there too, so... We got 12-inch Marvel Ultron. You didn't predict Ultron will rule the world. I will recreate the world in my image. Because Ultron is superior to the Avengers. And speaking of bad guys, I have to do some comparisons with Ultron. Here we got 10-inch Marvel Thanos. Love that figure. 12-inch Infinity Wars Thanos. Because I can never go wrong with having more bad guy 12-inch figures. And because Iron Man made Ultron, we're going to compare every Iron Man to Ultron here before we end this video. The original Mark V, Iron Man, the Flight Iron Man, 
Why not? The Play School Beefy Iron Man. Stealth Iron Man. And, of course, Iron Patriot. And this is how many figures I own that are actually mech suits or robots. So, yeah. I own quite a bit of Iron Mans in my collection, plus the creation of Iron Man Ultron. I'm just throwing them back in the bin I just brought them out in. Is a Marvel 12-inch Ultron. Wooden doll you can paint and 90s Power Rangers and... Green Lantern Kilowog, worth adding to your collection? If you're a huge fan of these toy lines, yes. I love DC, I love Marvel, and I love Power Rangers toy lines because they are so much fun to mess around with and do impressions with. And Ultron, he's probably the coolest villain in the Marvel movies, and I'm so glad to have a figure of Ultron. And he will be part of my collection for a very long time. And that's all there is to say for this video. This is Eddie Hill. And I enjoyed making this video for all of you. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.